We now begin our Ni'ilah service. The word Ni'ilah comes from locking, the locking of the gates of repentance at the end of this day of Yom Kippur. Together we lift up our voices in prayer one more time before the gates close. It's traditional to remain standing throughout the time of Ni'ilah as you are able. This is the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them and give thanks to my God. Listen, O God, when I cry out. Be gracious and answer me. You have said, seek my presence. I seek your presence within my heart. Do not hide from me. I will enter your gates with thanksgiving, your courts with singing. Give yourselves to the eternal and enter into God's holy space. Go through, go through the doors. This is the gateway to the infinite. The righteous will enter it. God, forgive us, but please help us surpass the pre-written stuff. Remind us to believe in our own living hearts and mouths and souls. Hear us when we speak, comfort us when we cry, guide us when we stray. God, Please forgive us for the things we did wrong and were brave enough to name, strong enough to own, and hopeful enough to see past. May the coming year find us ready to be our full size, strong and brave and hopeful, alive and healthy and safe. May the coming year be a good one for everyone, dear God, for everyone. Amen. We now begin our Ni'ilah service. The word Ni'ilah comes from locking, the locking of the gates of repentance at the end of this day of Yom Kippur. Together we lift up our voices in prayer one more time before the gates close. It's traditional to remain standing throughout the time of Ni'ilah as you are able. This is the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them and give thanks to my God. Listen, O God, when I cry out, be gracious and answer me. You have said, seek my presence. I seek your presence within my heart. Do not hide from me. I will enter your gates with thanksgiving, your courts with singing. Give yourselves to the eternal and enter into God's holy space. Go through, go through the doors. This is the gateway to the infinite. The righteous will enter it. God, forgive us, but please help us surpass the pre-written stuff. Remind us to believe in our own living hearts and mouths and souls. Hear us when we speak, comfort us when we cry guide us when we stray. God, please forgive us for the things we did wrong and were brave enough to name, strong enough to own, and hopeful enough to see past. May the coming year find us ready to be our full size, strong and brave and hopeful, alive and healthy and safe. May the coming year be a good one for everyone, dear God, for everyone. Amen. Forgive your neighbors the wrongs they have done you, and when you pray, your sins will be forgiven. If I nurse anger against another, can I ask pardon of the Eternal One? Showing no pity for one like myself, can I then plead for my own sins? If I, a creature of flesh, nourish resentment, who will forgive me my sins? Consider that life is short and cease to hate. Remember mortality and death, and live by the commandments. Let not the fierce sun dry one tear of pain before you yourself have wiped it from the sufferer's eye. But let each burning human tear drop onto your heart and there remain, nor ever brush it off until the pain that caused it is removed. For transgressions against God, the day of atonement atones, but for transgressions of one human being against another, the Day of Atonement does not atone until they have made peace with one another.
Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotenu veimotenu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Velohe Yaakov Elohe Sara Elohe Rivka Elohe Lea Velohe Rachel Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vehanora El El Yon Gomel Chasadim Tovim Vikone Hakol Vizocher Chaste Avot Vima Hot Ume Vigula Livnevene Hem Leman Shemo Beava Zochreinu Lechaim Melecha Feitz Bachaim Vikot Menu Besefer Achaim Lemanacha Elohim Chaim Melech Ozer Umashia Umagain Baruch Adonai Magain Avraham Vezrat Sara Amen. Atagi Bor Leolam Adonai Michaye Hakol Atarav Lehoshia Michal Kel Chaim Bechesed Michaye Hakol Berachamim Rabim so make no flim, Birofe holim, Umatir asurim, Umekaye memunato, Lishene afar, Micha mocha, Ba al give root, Umi domelach, Melech me meet, Umichaye. Umat miach Yeshua, Micha mocha, Av harachamim, Zocher yitzurav, Zocher yitzurav, Lechaim berachamim, Lechaim berachamim, Vineeman atale hachayot hakol, Baruch ata Adonai, Mechaye HaKol. Eternal God, the power of your Spirit pervades all creation. When we open our hearts to you, we are filled with your strength, the strength to bear our afflictions, the strength to refuse them victory, the strength to overcome them. And then our will is renewed to lift up the fallen, to set free the captive, to heal the sick, to bring light to all who dwell in darkness. Add your strength to ours, O God, so that when death casts its shadow, we shall yet be able to say, O source of blessing, you are with us in death as in life. Kadosh atav no rashamecha, ve'en eloa mi baladecha. You are holy, awesome is your name. There is no God but you. The God of all being is exalted by justice. The holy God is sanctified by righteousness. Blessed is the Eternal who rules in holiness. Eloheinu velohe avotenu, macha avonotenu bayom ha kiporim hazeh, meche vaha aver pesha'enu vachatotenu min neged inecha. Our God and God of all generations. Pardon our sins on this day of atonement. Sweep away our transgressions and misdeeds that they vanish from your sight. Blessed is the eternal God, whose forgiving love annuls our trespasses year after year. Ruler of all the world, you hallow the house of Israel, 
and the Day of Atonement. Dim anach nulach, al chayenu ham surim biadecha, va al nifla otecha va tovotecha. For the glory of life and its wonder, we give thanks. You are goodness. You are compassion. We give thanks to you forever. Our God, the guide of humanity, let your spirit rule this nation and its citizens, that their deeds may be prompted by a love of justice and right and bear fruit in goodness and peace. Bless our people with love of righteousness. Teach us to work for the welfare of all, to diminish the evils that beset us and to enlarge our nation's virtues. Bless our people with civic courage. Bless our striving to make real the dream of your rule when we shall put an end to the suffering we now inflict upon each other. Bless our people with a vision of your sovereignty on earth. For you have endowed us with noble powers. Help us to use them wisely and with compassion. Bless our people with a wise and feeling heart. You have given us freedom to choose between good and evil, life and death. May we choose life and good that our children may inherit from us the blessings of dignity and freedom, prosperity and peace. As this holy day of Yom Kippur draws inexorably towards its end, I invite you to join me as together we search our hearts for a final message, a final truth, a final connection with the source of our being.
Nora Alila, El Nora Alila, Hamzela nu mechila, Bish at han ila, Mete mis parkruim, Lecha ein no stream, Um saladim bechila, Bish at han ila. El Nora Alila, El Nora Alila. Adonai Melech, Adonai Malach, Adonai Yimloch Leolam Va'ed. The Eternal, the Everlasting God will reign forever. Before the earth and sky were formed, God was sovereign. When heaven's lights had yet to shine, God did reign. Though like a garment earth decay and heaven all as smoke dissolve, God will reign forever. Before the earth's expanse was spread, God was sovereign. And when its creatures all were formed, God did reign. Though earth from out its orbit reel and tremble to its lowest depths, God will reign forever. Avinu malkenu, patach sha'arei shamayim litfilatenu. Avinu Malkenu, let the gates of heaven be open to our plea. Avinu Malkenu, na'al tishivenu rekam milfanecha. Avinu Malkenu, do not turn us away empty-handed from your presence. Avinu Malkenu, salach umachal l'chol avonotenu. Avinu Malkenu, forgive and pardon all our misdeeds. Avinu Malkenu, zachor ki afar anachnu. Avinu Malkenu, remember that we are dust. Avinu Malkenu, chamol alenu va'al olalenu v'tapenu. Avinu Malkenu, have compassion on us and on our children. Avinu Malkenu, chadesh alenu shana tova. Avinu Malkenu, let the new year be a good year for us. Avinu Malkenu, chapmenu v'sefer chayim tovim. Avinu Malkenu, Chotmenu Besefer Chayim Tovim. Avinu Malkenu, seal us for blessing in the Book of Life. Avinu Malkenu, Harim Keren Yisrael Amecha. Avinu Malkenu, give strength to your people Israel. Avinu Malkenu, Kale Kol Tsar Umastin Me'alenu. Avinu Malkenu, make an end to all oppression. Avinu Malkenu, Hatzmach lanu Yeshua b'karov. Avinu Malkenu, hasten the time of our redemption. Avinu Malkenu. Avinu Malkenu. Avinu Malkenu. Chonenu va'anenu ki ein banu masim asay imanu tzedaka v'chesed asay. Our God, God of our mothers and fathers, 
Grant that our prayers may reach you. Do not be deaf to our pleas, for we are not so arrogant and stiff-necked as to say before you, our God and God of all ages, we are perfect and have not sinned. Rather do we confess, we have gone astray, we have sinned, we have transgressed. Asham nu Bagad nu Gazal nu Di barnu dofi Yai la lai 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 Yala lai 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 Yala lai 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 Heavy nu Be here, Shanu Zadnu Hamasnu Tafalnu Shaker Yay, la 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 Keys of new Lots new Marad new Niats new Yai la 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 Sara new Avinu Pashanu Tsararnu Kishinu Oref Yai la 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 Rasha nu She hat nu Tiav nu Ta inu Titan nu We have all committed offenses. Together we confess these human sins, the sins of arrogance, bigotry, and cynicism, of deceit and egotism, flattery and greed, injustice and jealousy. Some of us have kept grudges, were lustful, malicious, or narrow-minded. Others were obstinate or possessive, quarrelsome, rancorous, or selfish. There was violence, weakness of will, xenophobia. We yielded to temptation and showed zeal for bad causes. We have turned aside from your commandments and from your precepts, and it has not availed us. You are just whatever befalls us. You call us to righteousness, but we bring evil upon ourselves. What shall we say before you who dwell on high? What shall we plead before you enthroned beyond the stars? Are not all things known to you? Dear God, we pray that you remember too the good we have tried to do in this last year. Ahavnu, we have loved. Bachinu, we have cried. Gamalnu, we have given back. Dibarnu Yofi, we have spoken great things. Heamanu, we have believed. Vehishtadalnu, and we tried to give our best effort. Zacharnu, we have remembered. Hibaknu, we have embraced. Ta'amnu Sefer, we have chanted your book. Yatsarnu, we have created. Kamahanu, we have yearned. 
Lachmanu Avor Tzedek, we have fought for justice. Mitzinu Etatov, we have exhausted all the good we could do. Nisinu, we have tried. Sarnu Lirot, we have turned aside to see. Asinu Asher Tzivitanu, we have done as you have commanded us. Perashnu, we have expounded Torah. Sadaknu Lifamim, we have been righteous sometimes. Karanu Bashim Cha, we have called out in your name. Ratsinu, we have been steadfast in our will. Samachnu, we have rejoiced. Tamachnu, we have supported one another. Atano ten yad lofoshim, you hold out your hand to those who have rebelled against you. Your right hand is stretched out to receive those who turn back to you. Eternal God, you have taught us to confess all our faults before you, so that we may turn away from violence and oppression. In accordance with your gracious promise, accept our repentance, which we offer to you in all sincerity. We know that we end in dust, but your compassion has no end. For what are we? What is our life and what our faithfulness? What is our goodness and what our vaunted strength? What can we say in your presence, our God and God of all ages? Are not all the conquerors as nothing before you, and those of renown as though they had not been, the learned as if they had no knowledge, and the wise as if without understanding? Many of our works are vain, and our days pass away like a shadow. Since all our achievements are as insubstantial as mist, how can we look upon ourselves as higher than the beasts? Yet from the beginning, you set us apart to stand erect before you. And in your love, O gracious God, you have given us this day of atonement, that our sins may cease and be forgiven, and that turning away from violence and oppression, we may turn back to you and do your will with a perfect heart. In your great mercy, have compassion upon us, for you do not deny... In your great mercy, have compassion upon us, for you do not desire the world's destruction. It has been said, seek the eternal while there is yet time. Cry out while God is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways, those bent on evil their thoughts. Let them return to the eternal one who will show them mercy, to our God who will graciously pardon. You are a God of forgiveness, gracious and merciful, endlessly patient, loving and true. You ask evildoers to return to you, and do not seek their death. For it has been said, declare to them, as I live, says the eternal God, it is not the death of the wicked I seek, but that they turn from their ways and live. Turn back, turn back from your evil ways, for why should you choose to die, O house of Israel? Now send forth your hidden light, and open to your servants the gates of help. O great God, in your justice and your perfect love, open for us wisdom's gates. Open for us the gates of righteousness, and we shall enter to praise our God. Open the gates, open them wide. We knock at your gates, O gracious one. Do not turn us away empty-handed. Open the gates, O God. Open the gates for us and for all Israel. Open the gates of blessing for us all. The gates of atonement, benevolence and compassion, the gates of dignity, excellence and faith, generosity and hope, insight and joy, kindness and love, melody and nobility, openness, purity and quietude, renewal, simplicity and truth, the gates of understanding and virtue, the gates of wonder and zest. Open the gates, open them wide, Open the gates, O God, show us the way to enter. The day is fading, the sun is setting, the silence and peace of night descend upon the earth. Give rest now, O author, peace to our troubled hearts. Lift up the spirit oppressed by guilt. Turn, O loved one, to your children. Turn to every broken heart and every burdened soul. Let us at this hour be sure of your forgiveness. From your house, O God, we are about to return to our homes. Enter them with us, that they may become your sanctuaries. 
dwelling places of your spirit. Then will our home stand firm against the storms of life to be a shelter for all that is good and a refuge from evil. And still another dwelling place have you destined for us, a source of life, an eternal home to which we shall go when our brief day on earth is past. Open for us then the gates of everlasting peace and keep alive in those who follow us the truths, the visions, and the hopes we have struggled to make real. This twilight hour reminds us also of the day when, if we are faithful to our mission, your light will arise over all the world and Israel's spiritual descendants will be as numerous as the stars of heaven. Teach our people to recognize the meaning of our history and the challenge of our destiny, to proclaim to all your children the truth of Israel's message, one humanity on earth, even as there is one God in heaven. You alone know when this great hope shall be fulfilled, but the day will surely come, even as none of your words returns fruitless without having accomplished your purpose, then joy will thrill all hearts, and from one end of the earth to the other will ring the exultant cry, Hear, O Israel, hear all creation. The Eternal is our God. The Eternal is one. Your house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. All nations shall flock to it and exclaim in triumphant song, Lift up your heads, O gates. Lift yourselves up, O ancient doors. Let the God of glory enter. Who is the sovereign of glory? The God of all being is the sovereign of glory. Whither can I go from your spirit? Whither can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to the heavens, you are there. If I make my home in the lowest depths, behold, you are there. If I take up the wings of the morning and dwell on the ocean's farthest shore, even there your hand will lead me, your right hand will hold me. And if I say, surely the darkness will conceal me, night will hide me from view, even the darkness is not too dark for you, as dark as clear as the day. When I consider the heavens, the work of your hands, and when I gaze at the measureless sea of space and the endless host of stars that sail in it, and when I set out to understand this marvel and its tremendous maker, then your greatness and your power overwhelm me. Your infinite majesty makes me tremble with awe. For the worlds beyond count are but a breath of your spirit, the lucent suns only beams of your light. Oh, what are we that you have given us eyes to see something of your truth? What am I that you have given me thought to fathom something of your purpose? Yet upon the earth, with all its abundance and beauty, forests dancing with life, mountains rising like prayers, seas roaring their creative hymn, with all the mysteries of the boundless depths and the immeasurable heights, you have chosen us to proclaim your grandeur and the voice belonging for all being for you. Sovereign of the universe and fountain of life, in women and men, children of dust, offspring of heaven, you have blended two worlds, perishable earth and immortal soul, finite matter locked into time and space, and infinite spirit which endures through all eternity. You have given us dominion over the works of your hands and placed all things under our care. You have commanded us to live at peace with all living creatures and to walk softly in their presence. But there is that in us which darkens the soul. Call to a life of righteousness, we rebel. Arrogance possesses us. The passions that rage within us drown the voice of conscience. Good and evil, virtue and vice, 
Love and hate contend for the mastery of our lives. Again and again, we complain of the struggle, forgetting that the power to choose is the glory and greatness of our being. When we succumb, life loses its beauty, and within us sounds the voice of judgment. Where are you? How you have fallen, O children of the Most High. But sure as is your judgment, O God, surer still is your mercy. It is not the death of sinners you demand, only that they return to you, return to life. The gates of your forgiveness are open wide, and all who seek to enter may be at one with you. Aware of our weakness, eternal God, we have become before you, longing for your presence, your light, your peace. We have reflected with anguish on a life misused and filled with regrets, on opportunities neglected and promises unfulfilled. We have struggled to reach you, to turn back to you, and to accept your law. Accept then our penitent spirits. Be with us as our hope for the future. Now, as evening falls, light dawns within us. Hope and trust revive. The shadow that darkened our spirit is vanished, and through the passing cloud there breaks with the last rays of the setting sun the radiance of your forgiving peace. We are restored, renewed by your love. How can we find words to thank you for your goodness, and how can words alone be fitting thanks? And so we make this pledge. We will thank you with our lives. We will offer to you the work of our hands. Fill then our heart, our life, our work with a constant love for you, God of the universe, creator of all life, source of all being. Then shall our souls rejoice and sing. You have turned my grief into dancing, released me from my anguish, and surrounded me with gladness. Eternal, I shall give thanks to you forever. V'yit kadal, v'yit kadash, shemei rabah, be'almah divra chirutei, v'yamlich malchutei, v'chai echon, v'yom echon, v'chai edukhol v'yit Yisrael, Ba'agala ubizman kari v'yimru, amen. Yehe shemei raba mivarach le'alam ulalme almaya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnasei. V'yithadar v'yitale v'yithalal shemei d'kudusha b'richu. Le'ela min kol b'rchata v'shirata. Tush b'chata v'nechemata. Da'amiran b'alma v'yimru, amen. Tit kabel tzlo tohon uva utohon dechol Yisrael kodem avuhon bishamaya veimru amen. Yehe shalama raba min shamaya vachayim alenu veal kol Yisrael veimru amen. Ose shalom bim romav uya ase shalom alenu veal kol Yisrael veimru amen. As you make peace on high, so let peace descend on us on all Israel and all the world. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kivod Malchuto Leolam Vaed Baruch Shem Kivod Malchuto Leolam Vaed Baruch Shem Kivod Malchuto Leolam Vaed Adonai Hu Ha Elohim Adonai Hu Ha Elohim Adonai hu ha Elohim. 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 Tiki Agadola.
of this holy day, we pray. O oh God, may this year be a year of life and blessing and health and peace, prosperity and safety for all. May we know the hand of your blessing and may all of us have a role in making it come to be for us and for all of humanity. And we say, Amen. L'Shanah Tova, a happy, a joyous and a prosperous year to you all.